I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker. So I'm replacing you with a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders. No more leaks. Just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh, I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Take back your space. Stop storing old electronics you'll never use again. Recycle your computers, monitors, and televisions for free with eCycle Washington. This free program can be used by households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations across the state. Drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Please check for the drop-off location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org. That's one word, eCycleWashington.org, and click on the Where Can I Recycle link. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. And, uh... Boy, am I so happy this wasn't my flight. This happened uh, during a flight to Michigan. Oh, okay, so it didn't happen while you were coming back home. It did not happen while I was coming back home. After hitting Slam City, USA. <laughs> wow. Is that located in California? I guess, for I guess so. It is. It all, it's a different city for every person. Yeah. For you, Rev, it would be Tacoma, Washington. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to go far. There's an old song called Surf City, but you're saying I went to Slam City. Slam City, uh, yeah. USA. Yeah, that's dun, it. Dun, dun, dun. That's about how the song sounds, too. I don't even know. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, so, yeah, uh, I, was, uh, I was not on that Michigan flight uh, because, uh, man, I don't know what I would have done if I saw this woman do what she did. A flight to Michigan, a woman has a meltdown. She starts climbing around the cabin. Oh, I'm looking at the picture of her. She's standing on the chairs. Working her way up on the ceiling. People are comparing what they saw on this flight to the Exorcist movie. What'd she take? Because I want some of that. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> like that one dude is like, I just want to go home. Yeah. yeah. I. The thing is, man, is that you know you're supposed to take something that just knocks your ass out on a plane. If you're if you're you know if you got issues, I don't know what she took, but it did not knock her ass out. At one point, I guess she screamed, "We're going to f all night, bitch." <laughs> oh, to anyone in particular, or just oh, the, everyone on the airplane. They oh, say there's side effects to those pills. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Oh, it's that kind of party. And she was trying to get into the the, the, the luggage bins, which I get. Like, those those uh, uh, overhead ba- uh, cabin things are always full, and oh, that makes me angry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you, you, if a lot of people take up those spades. You go, wait a second. This is my seat. How is that luggage already filled up? All right, I'm out. I'm gonna, give, going, give me that pill. We're going to F all night, bitch. Yeah. I think that we're going to. Now, I'm. do you think she means something different than what I think that the, the F means? I don't know, but I usually just text that to my yeah, wife. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't say that out loud, you know. Because I feel like the person sitting next to me would think that's kind of weird. That's a good point. Oh, you're you're coming home, but I, but you so or oh, you know what? I text that every time I go to Slam Town. Oh, do you? Yeah, nice. I go, hey, you know what we're gonna do, <laughs> hey, bitch? babe? Here's what's gonna happen, hey, bitch. Babe. As I'm traveling to Slam Town, <laughs> guess what we're gonna do all night? The minute uh, I land, yeah. Hmm. Here's a clue, okay? It's between the letters E and G. That's what we're gonna do all night, bitch. No. My bad. That actually really was an audio of a woman on a plane. That was just me watching the debates last night. Sorry. Oh. You actually watched the debates last of night? Of course. I am shocked. Well, I mean, I watched Monday Night Raw the night before, and I was like, I need more wrestling <laughs> entertainment in my life. Not wrong. I wasn't even going to bring it up because I thought, 
you would look at me and go, if I said anything about, so I watched those debates last night, and I would have thought you would have looked at me and go, why are you wasting your time? What's wrong with you? Because you, I love entertainment. Oh, that's a good point. All right. Oh. I didn't uh, I didn't expect to get the kind of entertainment that we got. It was insane. It was uh, It was something. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> no, and that's the best part was watching all like the the analysts from every every network for, depending on what, it didn't even matter which side they're on they were just like well, that was something. <laughs> yeah. I think one one lady said there was an S show on. Uh, yeah, well, on she CNN. did. Yeah. yeah, I saw her. Yeah, she was fantastic. She's like, you have to excuse my language, but I got nothing else to say about this. It's an S show. That was my favorite part. She's like, you said a bunch of big words to describe what happened. I'm just going to say it how I saw it. That was an S show. He said it was. What did he say? It was a, it, 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 it was a dumpster fire inside of a train wreck, and there was some other thing he said. I forget the third thing, but he yeah. he made a turducken out of the whole thing, and I forget what he put in. Yeah, because he put something inside of something inside of something, and I know two. Things. It was a dumpster's fire inside of a train wreck, but mm-hmm. I forget what the hell the third thing was. Whether you know what what it was, but he had three, and then she just came out and said, "No, it was an S show." Yeah, my heart usually races that much after a Seahawks game, not after a debate. Yeah, I can't oh, sleep. It's oh, funny yeah. you say that. I checked my Fitbit after watching it for an hour and a half, and I was at one fifteen for my heart rate. That's and I was awesome. Like, do you wow. know? Did you do your Fitbit for after the Hawks game? Did you do what was your Fitbit for that one? I mean, that should have been I crazy. Too. My Fitbit after a Hawks game, <laughs> oh, <especially laughs> yeah. game. Oh, that just yeah. falls off your wrist, especially after that last Hawks game. Because I'm like, oh my god, I thought we lost the the, 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 the guy we gave away the farm for. I thought, oh, did we lose him for the season? Oh no. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but yeah. I would have broken my Fitbit over that. I was ready to massage his groin if I had to. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, the Look, groin man. is, I pulled my groin a lot. I mean, I'm a professional. I Excuse think he me. should have talked, he should have talked to me if he wants to know how to pull his groin in a safe way, because I've been a groin puller since day one. I pull my groin every morning, man. Sometimes yeah. those underwear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, there we go. Wow. What is going on? I don't, I don't know. know. All I know is this, I blame Steve. The We're going to F all night, bitch. That's what I know, <laughs> now, Steve. Now, that okay. is a party I could get behind. We need to put her in the next debate. The F all night party. Why not? Wow. I, mean, I think she should be the moderator. I feel like, you know what? The guy that moderated, Chris Wallace, didn't do a good job. So put the F all night lady as the moderator. It really can't be worse. Well, in all fairness to the poor guy, he didn't know what the hell was going to happen. Yeah. Like now, I think the next moderator now that that's the pressure because now you kind of know what's happening. Now you know that you have people that just aren't going to pay attention to rules. The next moderator needs to be a dominatrix. That's the only way you're going to get those people to fall in line. I'll watch that. I mean, seriously, all night. I don't all think night, anybody, bitch. nobody can do anything. I mean, you you know, I mean, eventually, even Wallace said, "All right, look, man, you're breaking every damn rule you agreed to," and it didn't didn't, st- didn't slow anybody down. They're going, "We're going to still do what we're doing anyway." If only only there was technology such as mute buttons. I know. put them in boxes. I oh, mean, yes. that way, soundproof boxes. Oh. Because even if they muted the guy, I mean, he continued to say, you still hear him in the yeah. background. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, exactly. It would be kind of funny just to see them yelling, you can't understand anything yes. just because they're inside yeah. of a plastic box. Because yeah. my favorite part wasn't even watching the person speaking. It was watching the other presidential uh, candidate listening because both of them their facial expressions were like some of the greatest facial expressions ever yeah oh yeah you're right they had some great expressions see i wanted a zoom call like 2020 very 2020 status and just they mute the mic when they when they keep talking like they do on our meetings yes yeah steve can you please mute your mic we don't need to hear you in the shower but you can't have control of the mute right they should be the moderator so I'm, you know what? I'm glad that I decided to watch it anyway. Mm-hmm. I really thought that you guys wouldn't watch it. I figured you guys would be like, "What am I going to get from this?" I, I didn't realize that you guys were going to watch it for entertainment value. Yeah, there was. I mean, hockey. The Stanley Cup Finals were over. Okay, so I, <laughs> you know, there's no new television. I'm still kind of sad that Anna Ferris isn't coming back to mom. So I needed something to entertain myself. I still don't know how they're going to do the show that starred Anna Ferris's mom. I mean, h- how are you going to do that? Well, if you watch the show, you realize she's really not really the most important part of that show. Yeah. Oh, really? She's she's Allison Janney's. She should be also the moderator. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Allison Janney's great. <laughs> you're right. right. You're right. Well, well, yeah. But Anna, so yeah, you're Anna Faris is the straight man of that show, is what you're saying basically. And and Allison no, she's Janney. a crazy woman as well. I mean, it's just like it's just a team of crazy women. Yeah. Like, how do we go from the debates to how is mom gonna survive? Remember, we started on an airplane. Yeah. Yes. Do you understand <laughs> that, look, all we're doing is, is a dumpster fire inside of a train wreck, Ooh. inside of a turkey, uh, you know. That should be our goal today, to be a bigger ass show than the debates. I think we're there. Dude, I think that we've beaten it. <laughs> Haven't we beaten that over the years? Oh, there's been some episodes. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, but I'm up On for it. very special episodes. I'm up for it. If we, can get, if we can get Sergeant Hair Club to give us a call and go, dude, normally I give you guys a break, but you were a bigger ass show than I've ever heard. What, us yelling and screaming at each other and not listening to the other person? We've never done that. No. Oh, never. Today. No. Yet. <laughs> yet. We haven't done beat Migs yet. Usually that's when it all falls apart. Yeah, usually. Yeah. <laughs> it is... 
It is funny, though, uh, all serious, you know, to take people behind the curtain. We have meetings to make sure that we don't do what happened last night at the debates. Like, we work really hard not to be as insane as that. Because sometimes in human conversation, when you can see people, you mm-hmm. can talk over them, your brain and your eyes and your body language. You can pick up a lot more. But when you're just doing an audio show, all you hear are the voices. And so we're trained not to do what they did last night so that we don't drive your brain crazy. And it still drove everybody crazy last night. Did it not feel like a giant skit? At one point, I'm like, it really I, did. Are, are these just the greatest impersonators of these two that I've ever, like, they look and sound like those guys, but this can't really so, be. At one point, I, they're I, yelling I, at each other. You got Trump talking over him, making fun of him. And then Biden just looks at the camera and starts talking to the camera like he's an infomercial host. And I'm like, what is happening? Lorne Michaels loved this. I cannot wait for SNL because I literally thought when they walked out, I was like, oh, here comes the SNL bit. They and don't I, even need to change the script. They no. just need to just do word for word. And did I uh, did I read this right? Is Jim Carrey going to play Joe Biden on the uh, future SNL? That's I, what I heard. Yeah. yeah. So you've got so I mean it was Alec Baldwin and Jim Carrey. Those guys are so pissed because I don't think you can bring it to the. T- can you bring it better than what those guys did? The the ones last night. The just, real people. Just do what they did. Yeah. 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 And uh, they had a laugh track. Yeah. Then did because I think most of America was I mean either laughing or face palming at some point. When is the entire this, debate? When is the season premiere of SNL? Because last I night it was on television. Called the debates. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it I, looks like it will actually return this weekend. Oh, whoa, dude. Yeah, this so, is going to be appointment too because they're going back in studio, I hear, too. Yeah, well. welcome to some timely uh, stuff. Oh, I dude. Guess. So I got to put that. Vicky, send me an email to record SNL. No. So who should be the next Thank moderator? You. Should it be like Angry Meatloaf? <laughs> oh, oh please. yes. Angry Meatloaf could get it done. We need somebody like Angry Meatloaf or Gary Busey, one of the two. Or you both. do not want to. With me. That's exactly the first thing he'll say when one of the people do not follow the rules. <laughs> He's reading the rules and then he goes, You look in my eyes, I am the last person in the world you ever want to with. See, now he's saying Wait, that to Joe Biden. From, is this from The Apprentice? Yeah, that's that audio it. from The yeah, Apprentice. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, one guy knows what's up. Yeah. With meatloaf. <laughs> when he tells you to look in his eyes, he's telling that to Joe Biden because Joe Biden kept looking at the camera and he's definitely the moderator. No, you look at my eyes. Look at my eyes, Biden. I felt uncomfortable when he looked in the camera. It was almost like he was blinking at us for help. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Blink twice, Joe. Yeah, he definitely, I think he was sending me a subliminal message. I agree with you, Steve. It may have been help. It may have been, can you get me a turducken? I don't know what he was looking for. Do you understand? Me. Yeah, oh yeah. This is uh, Meatloaf for Moderator. I mm-hmm. think that, hey, that even sounds good. <laughs> meatloaf, hashtag Meatloaf for Moderator. It's worth it just for the opening. Say, hi, I'm Meatloaf and I'm your moderator. <laughs> oh, okay, we, we've got a plan. I like this plan. All right, we got a, a man who ends up in jail all because of milk. Steve will tell you all about it. He's got the Migs report for you at 617. DJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock at 99.9 KISW. If your tank water heater's over eight years old, you may be sitting on a ticking time bomb. It could start leaking without warning, causing far more damage than the loss of the heater itself. Consider replacing it with a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to leak, endless hot water for spa-like comfort, longer life, and backed by Navian's strong warranty. Before time runs out, visit tanklessmadesimple.com for the name of your Navian contractor. Wait, don't trash that used or broken computer, monitor, or TV. Do the right thing. Recycle your unwanted or non-working electronics for free. You can recycle computers, monitors, and televisions with eCycle Washington. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations may drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is The Mix Report. Well, thanks, you guys, and thanks to Mercedes-Benz of Seattle for giving us the Mix Report. And today is a special day for all of us in the studio because today is International podcast day oh. that's right enjoy your podcast maybe you listen to the daily show on the podcast or maybe you listen to geek nation on the podcast oh. or the broadcast on the podcast the mega cast oh the mega cast recording a new one today mega hugs to all the mega family oh. show yourself a podcast maybe one day the mix cast will return we don't know someday one day maybe 
Wow, yeah. This, we just well, can't be in the same room unless we get a, a yeah. moderator. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Matthews, whoever he was. All right, well, anyways, let's talk about this crazy story. It's also, of all things, World School Milk Day. I have no idea what that means, but it, today would be the perfect day to celebrate that because one man went to jail in Florida. All because of milk. Oh, I like this. His name is Justin Anthony Garcia. He's 30 years old. And apparently he got into an argument with another guy. And I respect the argument. I don't know if it should lead to what it ended up leading to, but I understand why you would have this argument. What's better when it comes to the world of milk? Whole milk or almond milk? Oh. Oh. See, I think whole milk is definitely better, but what's better for you is probably almond milk. Oh, I see. All oh, right. He's kind of like, I don't know. No, I, I have to agree with that because I'm like, almond milk, if you're trying to be healthy, sure. But whole milk is just tastier. Like, I wish I could drink it on a regular basis. Oh, just that thick milk. Yes, sweet. I, I haven't had that in forever. I don't know how healthy almond milk is because I don't know how many, because almonds are good in, in moderation, but I don't know how many almonds are actually in that milk serving I have. Yeah, I, almond milk sucks. Let's just admit it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, I mean, as far I, as flavor, of sure. Of all things, like I mean, the, the milk, quote-unquote, substitutes, I would take soy and cashew over almond. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I'd take rum. Well, yeah. I mean, if I think <laughs> day, I'd... Oh. I mean, if, right. you, if, you, if you're giving me a choice of liquids... Yeah. Yeah. Coors Light. That's the best milk. <laughs> Maybe a white Russian. If we're going to have to make it a milky drink, all right, then make it a white Russian. Well, anyways, these guys are having this conversation, and unlike us, they... Could not have a civil conversation about which milk is better. It ended up leading to a fight where one guy, Garcia, he punched the other guy. Okay. And then chased him with a pocket knife and caught him. Okay, that's not cool. I'm not a, here's the problem. They don't tell us which side he was on. Oh, yeah. Well, it seems like that's what almond milkers would do. I do love that the uh, sheriff's office put up on Facebook a story about this. They put his mug shot and they said the suspect, Justin Anthony Garcia, cried over spilled milk because the victim wouldn't agree that his choice of milk was obviously superior. <laughs> wow, you know, that's the headline, huh? Yes. Hey, somebody gets cut by a, by a crazy person. They go, ah, let's have a little fun with this headline. Might as well. I guess the other guy must be okay. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, know. if the other guy, like, if the guy's in serious condition, I don't think we use that headline. Oh, here's a headline for, uh, and this also helps in keeping Oregon weird. Man snuck into a middle school Zoom class and then exposed himself. Okay. Oh, That's not what Oregon's known for. Well, now they are because oh. this happened in Medford, Oregon. And yeah, a guy, they're trying to track down this guy because he entered one of those Zoom classes. Because if you have the, like, the ID or you're able to get the invite, you can pop in. Yeah. And it was at Hedrick Middle School. And he got onto the Zoom class and then just exposed himself, the idiot. Apparently, he used the student's name to get through the initial screening on the call. And then, so, I mean, I would imagine talk to that student. Maybe he knows who this guy is. I'm no detective, but, you know. That's a really good point. Like, yeah, if he, how did he get on? Yeah, I think this guy's in trouble. Well, thankfully, the teacher, as soon as they saw what this guy was doing, he was bounced off the call. Muted forever. Yeah. But I would say that this is definitely the headline of the day. An etiquette teacher fights off a mugger dressed as a ninja. Oh, okay. This happened in New York City. Apparently, there's a 38-year-old woman that she does as her job. She's a professional etiquette teacher at the Plaza Hotel. On Monday, she was walking her three-year-old daughter when a guy in a full ninja costume tried to grab her purse. Because why not? It's New York. Okay. Well, she was not happy about that, so she started fighting the ninja. I don't even know if he was really a ninja, but they're referring I to him as a ninja. I, I, he <laughs> wouldn't, she wouldn't have known he was there if he was a real ninja. He's so a terrible I, ninja. He's he very have, bad. Yeah. He should have his ninja stripes removed. Yeah. I don't even know how that works, but take away his shoes <laughs> yeah. and That's his it. stars. Yeah, you, gotta, you, know, you know the whole thing. You're Shaolin, my friend. Well, fortunately, two construction workers and a doorman were able to run over and help her. They held this quote-unquote ninja until the cops came. And it was a 41-year-old guy from New Jersey. No word on whether or not he actually graduated from ninja school. I don't think he did. But he has been arrested. Yeah. BJ, I don't know if you're paying attention much to the uh, Major League Baseball playoffs. Oh, the playoffs have started? They've started. Oh, I didn't even know. Are the Mariners in it? Mariners are not in it. God damn it! Close, but no cigar. Yeah. Well, anyways, how about the Minnesota Twins? They're in the playoffs, and they're taking on the Houston Astros. And congratulations to the Twins. This is why I bring it up. Uh, They lost last night 4-1. to just continuing the trend that the Minnesota Twins are just red rotten when it comes to postseason baseball. They are now 0-17 in their last 17 postseason games. And I think this is best of three, right? Well, it probably it's going to end tonight and, or tomorrow. And and this is in Minnesota, too, if I'm not mistaken, because they're the, are they the better team or are the Astros the better team? You're asking me questions I don't yeah, have answers I'm to. Sure, I'm pretty sure the Astros are not better than Minnesota. I, I could be wrong. Uh, you know, yeah, it was in Minnesota Field. Yeah. Target, Target Field. Field. Yeah. yeah. So they can't even win in their home ballpark against a team that they should be beating. You're right. The, the Twins have a horrific playoff record. Well, good luck to them. Maybe they can become 
Somebody. One in 17, after all. Okay, seven. there you go. Well, uh, we were off when this happened, but congratulations to the Tampa Bay Lightning. They won the Stanley Cup. Uh, they ended up winning 2-0 uh, in Game 6 to, to get their second cup in the team's history, which was very exciting for them. And I bring it up because there's a great story that happened in Tampa where the cops were called on somebody because, well, the neighbors thought something bad was going on in their house because they kept hearing someone yell, shoot. So they thought, oh, this must be a domestic violence issue. Oh. <laughs> Turns out that the person in the house yelling shoot is a huge Tampa Bay Lightning fan yeah. and just yelling at his favorite team. Of course. While watching playoff hockey. And, uh, and the best part about this is when the, that neighbor that made the call to the cops found out about that, they ended up saying, hey, I'm sorry. Left them a 12-pack of beer on their porch with a note. And uh, here's that person talking about it. They left us beer. <laughs> What's it say? Sorry about Wednesday night, LOL. I grew up around a lot of domestic violence, and I legitimately thought someone was going to get shot. <laughs> Good luck to the Lightning. I'll be watching the NBA Finals, LOL. Caesar and Christine. Let's go. Caesar and Christine, thank you guys so much. How about that? Well, not only did they explain what, you know, the, we're sorry about that. Just Understandable. You know, and then, but then gave beer as a, as, a, as a mea culpa. That's pretty nice. You go from the worst neighbor to the best neighbor. Yeah. Like that. I love that plan. All right, as far as weather, 79 degrees and sun today. That's the Migs Report, and that's what's up. That is what's up. Good job, buddy. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Good job to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Good yeah. job, good job, good, good job. job. Well, we knew the Lightning were going to do that. The Lightning just snuck up on everybody. I mean, they let you win, like, the first game, and then they come back and beat the crap out of you for the rest of the series. It was fun seeing the celebration. You know, they, they did a great job, I thought, the NHL, just how they covered it with the, you know, even a little bit of the fake fan noise and all that, although a lot of people were upset because when Gary Bettman, the commissioner of the NHL, comes out, it's custom. It's like kind of like a tradition that the fans, it doesn't matter what team, they just boo the commissioner. Yeah. And so he comes out and there's no booing. And people are like, come on. If you're going to pipe in fake crowd noise, you've got to pump in the fake boos for Gary Bettman. Oh, that's funny. That, that's funny. Probably the first time he was happy to come on the ice. Right. He didn't have to worry about fans. Giving, like, you could actually hear what he had to say. It was pretty awesome. Oh, wow. But the best part was when uh, Stamkos from the, the Tampa Bay Lightning, he hoists the Stanley Cup over his head. They had pyro going behind him. And I thought that was pretty badass. I'm like, if you're not going to have fans... The best way to make up for it is to just have pyro shooting out from the way the fans would Ooh, be. Ooh, nice. I'd imagine that's going to make for great pictures. Yeah. Because you just got all that awesome, like, you know, flames and sparkles going on behind I hadn't, you. I hadn't thought about that. That's a nice, uh, yeah, it's a nice consolation prize. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, we got some Subway employees who are on Reddit, and uh, they are currently breaking sandwich artist uh, patient confidentiality, apparently. Um, <laughs> that's, what, that's the way they put it. I love that the story is made. Yeah. They, they, you know, the, what I order is a sandwich is between you and uh, your sandwich artist. That's how it goes. Right. Uh, but they're breaking that confidentiality, and uh, they've decided to share the strangest things they've ever seen someone order. And uh, here are the highlights. Somebody ordered a meatball sub with scoops of seafood salad. Ooh, I don't know about that. What? Like surf and turf? Ooh, good call. It's a surf and turf sub. Well, yeah. they, they have like celery in that, so that when they, you're doing it for the crunch, maybe. I get it. The, the thing is, is the tomato sauce is what I... I mean, I guess I have... I, I do have like seafood with some tartar sauce yeah. once in a while. I guess I... Or the cocktail sauce, which is like also like almost like yeah. a ketchup-y... Look, you guys can try and justify it all you want. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> okay, well, no, it sounds pretty interesting to trying me. To be, I was trying to be understanding. No, if, I'm the, if I'm the sandwich artist, I'm like, look. Oh, sorry, my baby. Ah, I was like, what was your <laughs> baby just started crying? I forgot I had the monitor she on. Like uh, okay, <laughs> she's, she's like, no. Oh, okay, well that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. She's awake. Yeah. Oh, now she's back to sleep. Okay, good. Thanks right, for that. I was, I, was really, I was really nervous about that. No, but I'm the subway artist. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna okay. be like, look, I'm a sandwich artist. I can't do this. This is this is a terrible idea. Yeah. Uh, well, how about a sandwich toasted four times so much so four times that it was basically charcoal? Wasn't that like a TikTok trend for a second? Yeah. It makes me think if that was what was going on and they really didn't want their sandwich like that. Yeah. They were I, just like doing a, I like burnt bread, but not like super burnt. Yeah, well, I, again, I don't want to eat charcoal. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, true. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like you to hunt that, and that's apparently what they're saying. I've never had charcoal, but BJ, I'm going to agree with you. I don't think I ever <laughs> oh, want to eat charcoal, charcoal either. <laughs> no. But we do love charbroiled. Like, you like a little bit of a hint. Yeah. You do You do like a little bit of a hint, a little mesquite. Is that what? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I do like, like a steak to have a little bit of a, a burn to it, but yeah. not like... Not the whole thing. You don't want the whole. Yeah, you, you don't want to just basically have a little charcoal bag. And I still want it, like you know, rare inside. <laughs> oh, okay. You, so you want it semi burnt outside, but very rare inside. I want it crusty and rare. Okay, that's well, usually when I go to uh, a <laughs> yeah, crusty. Down, so I go. What? How do you like your steak? Crusty and rare. Crusty and rare. <laughs>
like I like, I like my, my women. Wow. Women. wow. <laughs> <laughs> well. No, too soon? You do you. Okay. Uh, how about this customer wanted so many olives, he wound up calling the owner to demand more when the employees cut him off. That sounds like a Ron Swanson bit. Yeah, so it's like, I get to have as many olives as I want. Now, how do you feel about like going like overboard on vegetables if you're not getting any other vegetables? Like, I feel like that should be fine. Like, if he's not asking for cucumbers, and you know, if, if all of a sudden all, the only vegetable that he really wants is olives, I'll, I'm a, as a sandwich artist, if I was going to be a sandwich artist, all right, I'll give you four times the amount of olives. Yeah, I feel like I should be able to fill up the whole sub with whatever I want. And if he's still bitching about it at that point, I would just take that little bucket they have and just give Dump him, no, no, just give it to him, just be oh. like, here you go, figure it out yourself, and just be like, I'm done. Oh, there you go. That's a great idea. I would say to him, sir, you realize that this is about to be the most disgusting sandwich you'll ever eat. <laughs> like, I mean, olives are cool, but not that cool. But, well, and, and then he'd be like, you don't know the flavor. Well, they are olives. black olives. I think like the green olives would be really disgusting. Oh, but they sometimes stuff those. I can eat a lot of those. <laughs> oh, they could stuff them with little meatballs. And okay, well, then, yeah. <laughs> can I have a sub inside of a sub inside yeah. of a dumpster fire inside <laughs> of a? Okay, so how about the wheat bread? And uh, they ordered wheat bread, every single condiment, but nothing else. So they didn't get vegetables, they didn't get meat, they just got the condiments, which I think are like the, they got great spreads, the great squirty stuff, you know? Maybe great, great squirty stuff. That's well, what yeah. they call it, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, can I get some of that squirty stuff? Well, they got the big squirt containers, which yeah. I'm always envious of. Like, ah. It's so easy for them to get their ketchup and everything they want on there. They just go, <laughs> where I've got to, you know, I've got the bottles that don't ever seem to work. you right got to bang me. the bottle you got to bang that bottle. <laughs> Shove a knife in it see that's yeah and all of a sudden it's like you know i don't even know if i know this bottle well enough to even do this wow i don't know man if someone just asked for a, a, a sandwich with just condiments and nothing else i would like quickly like look through the drawers and see if we have like a therapist business card and hand that to them oh as well. that's a good like, idea you need help maybe they had their own meat how about somebody wanted to know what? Maybe they had their own special meat back or wherever they had, and they wanted to have the, the deal, but they just wanted their own specific meat. If, Yo, you're, if, you, if you're a vegetarian and you didn't, you know, then maybe they, you bring your veggie meats. Like, you're amazing. No, you, 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 you I mean, know? we ordered Jimmy John's, like, last night and, or yesterday afternoon, and my wife then, you, like, she has her own tofu or tempeh, the world's worst thing in the world. Oh, yeah, I love tempeh. Or something, and, like, she'll chop it up and put it into the sandwich. So she'll just get, like, a, like a you know, just a veggie sandwich and then pop some meat. Yeah, in there. So, there yeah. you go. I'd have a weird. I'd, I don't know, man. If I'm working at Subway and someone's like, here, this is what I want. I'm like, why? And they're like, I brought my own meat. I'm like, sir, you need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> but it's but you, but you have to say it the wrong way, though. And even right. make it worse. I brought my own meat. I brought my own meat. That's, you. Uh, see, that's the way you say it. That makes it even better. <laughs> well, better is. How about good. somebody want an entire bottle of oil on a cold cut combo? That sounds, that sounds like Steve. Yeah, I like my sandwiches sloppy. Yeah, it's <laughs> soggy more like it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, I want it dripping. Yeah, oh, see, and I don't want a soggy sandwich. That's nothing worse than when you when the the bread is like just did, did basically disintegrating. Well, if done right. <laughs> oh, if it's done right, I have no idea how to do it right. <laughs> well, if you if you squirt <laughs> enough oil and vinegar in there, yeah, in the meat. Okay, I know what we're talking about anymore. Hey, the cheese. I'm a little disturbed. Should I call the government? Make you've, sure you've created a buffer between the bread. And the oil and the vinegar. Ah. And if you eat it as fast as I do, you really don't have to worry about there it getting go. soggy. Oh, so you got a nice shield in there. Oh, and if you toast the bread, then you're just safe. I mean, you're good. Oh, to then you got to toast it, but don't charcoal it. Right. Okay. Well, we've just learned one a lot. run. We've learned a lot today, everybody. I brought my own meat. <laughs> okay, Steve, this would have been you. Somebody said this wasn't about an order, but a customer came in with a Kermit the Frog puppet, and the customer spoke through the puppet. We had to we had to hand the change to the puppet and also slide the sandwich to the puppet. This sounds like something that Lily would make me do. Hi ho! And you've got to talk I would to like Kermit. the BMT sandwich, please. Yeah. The only way Kermit that would be frog. wouldn't it be only a bit great if it was uh, the, the, the Jake Mahomes? If he was, if who's, was Patrick, who's Jake Pat, Mahomes? Get my Jake name right. Mahomes it's, every time. Every time. It's because it's Jake from Allstate, and they're on the same damn. Commercial. Put some respect State on my Farm. name, bitch. State Farm. Not like Allstate. I said, State Farm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that commercial works really well, doesn't it? Yeah, it totally you're, does. you're a bigger ass show than the debates, there, yeah. BJ. Yeah, sorry about that, Jake. Jake Patrick. Mahomes here. Good old Jake Patrick. Patrick's brother. Yeah. Don't call him Pat. His mom gets mad. Hey, by the way, quickly, uh, oh Jake, boy. Did you, oh, see, Jake, you see Jake got fired? They got Who? some new, they got oh, some new dude. Why am I still doing this voice? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. No, they got a new Allstate guy. Who's the new? Oh, I don't Kermit know who Farm. it is, but it's Kermit from State Farm. Here. I got a State Farm guy. Right. Sorry about that, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. You said no, you wanted to make this voice. an S show like the debate last night. I think we're off to a good start. Yeah, yeah we're doing this without trying. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> 
That says a lot, doesn't it? What the hell? Uh, uh, yeah. Patrick D. Yeah. Mahomes. <laughs> That's what she is. <laughs> Howdy, 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 brother Jake. Yeah. And I'd like a sub, please. <laughs> Yesterday, Steve, he did get this one wrong. <laughs> what do we call the lower chambers of the human heart? Is that the aorta? No. The valves? No. The heart skis? No. Uh, we were looking for ventricles, sir. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. You know what? skis. Jake from Allstate would have got that right. <laughs> no. Good God. All right. Uh, you want a shot at PDC? You got a 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs at 647 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. What's the difference between filing for bankruptcy and credit counseling? Uh, credit counseling is a is a useful process in some circumstances, but it does show up on your credit. In fact, from a credit scoring standpoint, credit counseling shows up just like a bankruptcy, so it's going to affect your credit as negatively as filing bankruptcy. In credit counseling, the idea is, is that a credit counselor works with your creditors on your behalf to try to lower interest rates or work out payment plans with your creditors uh, to, to pay back your debt over time. Uh, in credit counseling, you almost always pay back 100% of the debt, sometimes at lower interest. And, of course, some creditors will participate in that process and some won't. Uh, so you're usually left with kind of a mixed uh, result with credit counseling and, of course, a high payment. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. Thanks for listening. You can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian.